Hey other guys, it's Stealth49er here with a tutorial on how to allocate more RAM to Minecraft. Before I begin, I would like to say that this is a tutorial for users who have computers that have at least 4GB of RAM. If your computer doesn't have at least 4GB of RAM, you may be eating into the resources that your computer needs to run other programs in your operating system, which could cause your computer to crash. Now, so as long as you have 4GB of RAM, which we will check in a moment, uh, you should be able to follow this tutorial uh, with some instructions that I give you along the way. So you want to press the control the shift and the escape button on your keyboard all at the same time and that will bring up the Windows Task Manager. And you want to go to the Performance tab and look at the Physical Memory section and then look at the Total and this is the total amount of RAM you have installed. 4096 would be 4 gigabytes. so as long as you have 4096 uh, right under the total section uh, then you should be okay to follow this tutorial. Right here I have 16 gigabytes of RAM so it says 16,301 and you want to take note of how much RAM you have. So once you have taken note of that you can close the task manager and you want to open up your Minecraft launcher. Now once that loads up you want to select the profile that you will be adding more RAM to from the profile drop down menu and click edit profile. Then find the JVM arguments checkbox and check that box and then clear the line here uh, with all the text and then you want to which it is in the description but you want to put in this box dash and then XMX and then this is the amount of RAM that you'd like to allocate in megabytes, which I will leave a link to a converter from gigabytes to megabytes in the description. So you can decide, all right, I want this many gigabytes of RAM and it will figure out this number for you. So then you want XMX and then I'm gonna be allocating two gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. So you would type 2048, that's two gigabytes, and then a capital M and then a space and a dash, and then XMS, and then the same number that you put in for the first one, so 2048, and then an M as well. And of course, that is in the descriptions. You can copy and paste it, and you will just want to be changing the numbers here that are in between the XM and then the X or, or S and the M here, and uh, that will be allocating a certain amount of RAM. Again, as I said before, you do need about two or three gigabytes free for your computer to run well, so I would suggest keeping that free. Uh, and of course, if you have a lot of RAM, it's not too hard, and you probably don't even want to allocate as much RAM as you have installed in your computer, or near the amount of RAM you have installed in your computer. But if you don't have as much, it might not be as easy, but just keep that in mind when you are allocating the RAM. So then once you have that input, and you want to click Save Profile, then click Play. Once it is open, you can click Single Player and uh, go into a world, and then press F3, and you'll see in the top right, there's the allocated memory, and this is uh, 1963 is the amount of megabytes, and that is because uh, Minecraft does sort of have what I think is like a safety, uh, so you don't crash computer if you're using like the maximum amount of RAM you can. Uh, so yes, it is using a maximum of 1963 megabytes and that is fairly close to 2 gigabytes and uh, yes, now I have more RAM allocated to Minecraft. That's going to be the end of this tutorial, but if you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you could share this with your friends, I would greatly appreciate that as well. If you did have any trouble, then make sure to leave a comment detailing the problems that you are having, or if you have any other questions about it, you can leave those below as well, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. If you're not already following me on Twitter, haven't liked the Facebook fan page, or not following me on Google+, those links are also in the description below. And if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy gaming, tutorials, and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.